Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, in the first reading we see how, by the Lord's power, Elisha feeds hundred men with only twenty loaves. But in today's gospel, the comparison is huge. Jesus' feeding of the five thousand might well be called the feeding of the twenty thousand, because there were five thousand men plus women and children. It is not just a mighty miracle, but also a parable with many lessons. About the all sufficiency of Jesus Christ to meet the vast needs of the world through His inadequate disciples, though entirely inadequate to meet the needs of the hungry crowd, they gave the little that they had to the Lord, who blessed it and multiplied it so that they could distribute it to all the people. This is the only miracle recorded in all four Gospels, which shows its significance. and ensures that we won't forget how much the lord can do with little things that are yielded to him the feeding of the 5000 precedes jesus's discourse on being the living bread that comes down from heaven to give his life for the world so it is also a miracle that points to salvation john wrote this sign so that you may believe that jesus is the christ the son of god and that believing you may have life in his name john notes a large crowd followed him because they saw the signs which he was performing on those who were sick these people weren't following jesus because they recognized him as the son of god who could save them from their sins some were fascinated just seeing the miracles others needed miraculous healing for themselves or their loved ones their reasons for following jesus were often misguided and superficial so we must understand that christ uses inadequate people who surrender what they have to him to meet the overwhelming needs of others i have three points to share first god providing in abundance We heard today not only of the feeding, but of the leftovers. They filled twelve baskets with scraps. We all know the feeding at one time or another. Every one of us know hunger, and not just uh, hunger for food. We yearn for love, for mercy, for forgiveness. We may even hunger for meaning and purpose, for dignity. To overcome this, we must. trust in the lord he will provide for us not just a minimum to survive but in abundance we need to come to god with open hearts and open palms i have seen so many of our catholic charity institutions living for years in this providence of god trusting that god will provide they tell me that every month there are people coming and donating which is enough and even more Look at the example of the prodigal son who just wanted his father to take him back as a mere servant but the father poured out his love with a grand grand celebration that is how god provides when we come to him with a contrite heart the next the second introducing others to jesus the apostle andrew always brings people to jesus now introduces a small boy with his lunch why did he do it Would all his friends, the other disciples, laugh at him for suggesting this boy can help, or did he think Jesus will turn the small meal into enough for everyone? Andrew took that risk, and look what happened. The boy must have been a hero that day for what Jesus did to his meal. At our shrines, so many of our brothers and sisters of other faith, who have been mostly introduced to this devotion by their Catholic friends. have their wishes fulfilled as a mother intercedes to a son for their request those adults who are preparing themselves for baptism also happily share how their catholic friends introduce them to jesus so people will always be grateful to you if you introduce them to jesus finally offer whatever you may have Did the small boy today say it is my lunch and I'm not sharing? Go get your own. No, he gave it to Jesus, who gave it back 
5,000 fold. Charity is one great pillar of our faith. Watch what happens when you give off your time, your love, your skills, or even your wealth. God will take it and do something amazing with it. The young girl who offered her musical talent to the choir and became so popular in the whole parish. The rich man, very active in one of the parishes I served, saying, Father, the more I give, the more my business is blessed. So live your faith. Rejoice in the good things given to you by our Lord. Introduce Jesus to others and be generous with what you have. Believe me, you are sure to experience the abundance of life. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.